Hi guys, today's video is about how to spool your braided line into a big caster. So let's begin. So first, you need to thread your braided line through the line guide. Grab the line. Make sure you have enough line to work with. Let it go through. Okay. And then thread it through again. Right. Now that we have both the lines straight through, so as you can see, it goes through the line guide to the front, to the back, and it is above the metal bar. Right. Now let's grab the other line. All right. Now, as you can see, here is where we're going to start to tie our arbor knot, right? So first and foremost, tie a knot using your tag end. Okay. So the knot is done. One knot will do. This is your tag end. Then take your scissors, cut it off. Okay. Now to do your arbor knot, grab the other end of your line. Make sure you have enough line to work with, right? Okay. As you can see, line number one, line number two. Go above line number two, go above, and then go under, go above line number one. And go under then you will see you'll get something like this this knot here the one that you can see here cinch it together all right once it's tightened up Pull it all the way so it will go right to the reel. You can see the knot is right at the reel. Right? Continue pulling it. Alright. As you can see, it's now all cinched up. Okay? Pull your line. So from here you can see your upper knot is done. Goes through the line guide. And comes out here now let's move to the second part the second part here is to spool it spool the line into your weight caster using a line spooler so you can get any of any type of line spooler i mean to ease your your task in spooling the line so that um you don't get like uh, uneven lines being spooled into your bait caster so let's move to the next part of it. Okay guys, now we're at the uh, second part of our video today. Uh, we're going to begin to spool our line into our bait caster. So first and foremost, as you can see now, we already have our arbor knot here. So we need to run a few loops 
into our spool first. We want to prevent uh, line slippage. So I'll show you what, what do I mean here. All right. As you can see, we have already spooled a few lines here. So now you can see, no matter how hard I pull, it's tight already. The spool has already uh, been fed with enough line here to make sure that it's tight. Okay. Now, the next thing that we should do is ensure that our line spooler, the tension here, is tight. Okay. Okay. We need, to, we need to ensure that the lines at the bottom part of the spool is taut. So make sure it's very tight and start to spool. Make sure you're holding it at a straight line to prevent it from having a high left or, or high right. You want to make it even across the spool. Then you just pull. Whenever you notice your spool is like um, you have tread in almost like uh, maybe 40 to 50 meters, check your spool and see whether is your line traded uh, equally or not. If it's not equal, then try to move your uh, guide the line to the part that is uh, uneven. So guys, uh, I've just done spooling all the line ready. So um, if you can see, right, it's even from left to right. If you can see, there's no uh, there's no unevenness. That's why it's very important to keep your uh, guide your line straight from the line spooler while you're spooling. Okay, and also. The tension on the line spooler must also be tight for you. Not say tight, it's uh, at a moderate, there's some tension there. So when you spool in, the line will, will go uh, very smooth and clean. So you won't see any unevenness. So, okay. Um, that's all the uh, video for today. I uh, hope you guys uh, learn something from this video. And see you all in the uh, next video. Thanks guys.